All right. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another unpopular opinions. I always leave this video for last because I feel like I have the best time doing this video. But yo, I sometimes I'm just like, do I have to do another one? But we're here. We're doing Vlogtober content. We're pushing. We're vibing. We're doing the things. And I've got my unpopular opinions. Don't be mad at me. Okay, don't be mad at me or else catch me several streets away outside. Let's do it. Catch me outside. You want to catch these hands? By the time I'm done with you, these hands won't have these nails. Hear it? Okay, we're going to get into it. I've written down my unpopular opinions as I always do. Okay, I always write them down. We're going to get into it. Ooh, ooh. Let me not do them in order. Hmm, let's start with this one and it might make some of y'all mad, but it is what it is. I personally feel that Drake can't sing. Drake can't sing. Drake just speaks and he just elongates his words and he just... He, Drake can't sing. He can't sing. Like he's not singing. He's just elongating his words that's that's all he's doing and he's elongating it and he's making them rhyme with the melody and the tune at the time i don't think drake can sing so all of you guys who love drake personally i don't even think he can i don't even think he can rap either but hey that's a conversation for another day i ain't trying to get y'all mad and upset and all of that whole ha 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 i'm not trying to get y'all to do that but personally i feel like drake can't sing okay i say i say what i say okay this might be unpopular and it might be popular i don't know but as the person that i am i personally feel like even in a relationship you should have your own space we can't be on top of each other all the time whether we live in the same house whether we don't live in the same house whether we live in separate spaces i ain't trying to be on top of you all the time sitting in the bed yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you hear my chat i can't be on top of you all the time you can't be on top of me all the time i need my space i need a space okay can you be on that certain part of the house give me this part of the house so i can chill i can be within my space my vibe my moment i'm not trying to be on top of you all the time i feel like it's healthy to have space in a relationship you're together but be, you want to do your own thing. Still, still attach yourself to the individuality that is you. I ain't trying to be with somebody who wants to be naggy and clingy and with me all the time. Why? Uh uh. But when I do want to be with you, <laughs> when I do want to be with you, I do want to be with you. Know what I'm saying? My phone can't recognize me when I've got makeup on. I always have to punch it. Anyway, uh, honestly, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say it with my chest. I'm gonna say it with my chest. Netflix continues, for me, personally, Netflix continues to be the best streaming service for series, for movies, for whatever. It's the GOAT. It's the greatest of all time. Let me tell you why I say that. Well, Briga, before you come at me with Amazon Prime and Hulu and HBO and, 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 and Disney Plus and all of that. Netflix is the greatest and it's goated for me of all time. The reason why I say this is because on Netflix, you find a lot more content from various other parts of the world. Okay. You get them from various other parts of the world. You get great shit. You get, you know, nostalgic shows. You get new stuff. The Netflix documentaries are fire. They're fantastic. The documentaries about the serial killers and the this and the documentaries about this and this. And then the shows from England and then the shows from, um, um, uh, what's this? India and Nigeria and, 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 and Korea. Netflix goated. Okay, uh, and you know what? Netflix is also the easiest to maneuver. It's very user friendly. Let me tell you how many times Amazon has frustrated me trying to find something to watch. I've just been like, I'm not getting it. I'm just going to go back to Netflix. So for me, personally, 
Pairs on Ali, Netflix remains the goated. The goated, the goated. It's the greatest of all time. I said what I said. I don't know about your area. I don't know about your area, but in my area, there's an ice cream truck. Every time this ice cream truck pops up and you hear it, and you hear it, it's nine in the morning. And personally, I feel like those ice cream trucks are laundering more than just ice cream. I feel like those people, <laughs> it's an unpopular opinion, okay? I'm saying what I say and I mean it. I feel like they are laundering, they are selling more than just ice cream. The kids haven't even left their beds yet. The kids are still busy watching Johnny Bravo and, and Gummy Bears and Ben 10 and, and My Little Pony. And here you are, and it's winter. I get it in summer because right now we're going through a heat wave right now. We're in spring and we're going through the sickest heat wave right now. I get it. At 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. Go winter. 9 in the morning. I get out of here and I'm sick. Get out of here. You know exactly what it is you got up in that ice cream. What you mix into that ice cream? You got vanilla and a little bit of that chronic. You got that chronic, now. Nah? You do, don't you? You got that chronic in that ice cream truck. <laughs> Many women and men and um, non-binary people might be mad at this, but being with random people, changing partners all the time, being with random people is not a flex. There's, there's, there's nothing cool about being with random p people. Do you know how nice it is to feel what you feel for one person, but feel it intensely, intensely for a prolonged period of time? Do you know how nice that feels? It feels real, it feels authentic. This thing about the body counts eh, and being with random people at different times all the time, changing people all the time, it's not a flex, bro. For me, it's not. It just makes you feel very, it just makes me feel like you are very insecure. It makes me feel like you are, you don't like to commit. You have a fear of commitment. It makes me feel like you are using people as objects to, I don't know, satisfy your own little toxic traits. It doesn't, there's nothing about, for me personally, being with a lot of random people that I see as a flex. Absolutely nothing. It's actualization, Ilya. If you wanna come and tell me, yo, I've got five boyfriends, yo, this one does this, this one's Bentingo, this one's financial minister, this one's this, this one's this, this one's this. I'm just like, where do you get the time? My my biggest thing is that where do you get the time? For me, that is not a flex. Personally, for me, that's not a flex. I don't see it as a flex, and it actually it it, it makes me feel some type of way around. I'm just like, yo. Well, I want to talk about the women who lie and say I got this body from the gym when they didn't. It's an unpopular opinion. Yeah, we can see you. We can see you going there training. We see you. What's a upizikari lunges? Upizikari this this. Upizikari this this. But the body you have, sis. I buy. Wow, how's about you tell us about that, that three weeks where you just completely disappeared of social media. You disappeared. We had no idea where you were. We didn't know if you were lying in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> if you got married, if you had a baby, we didn't know nothing. What I must do? Then you come back and you say that you took a social media break. And you were just, you know, you were just doing you. You know, you were just doing you, just going to the gym, eating clean, whatever, whatever. And you come back and you look like you've got ribs missing from your torso. You look like you've got ribs missing. You look like you've done a whole lot of... Where? Where? <laughs> Where? No. Don't do that. 
<laughs> don't do that. Oof. So this one's gonna make a couple of people angry and it's gonna make some of my friends angry, but it'll be like that sometimes. If you arrive late, you're constantly arriving late. Every single time you're meeting up with your friends or you're meeting up with your family or you're meeting up with whatever for, for a nice time, not really work or anything like that. Every single time you arrive late and you're just like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I arrived late. No, how about say sorry for being selfish? <laughs> How about saying sorry for being selfish because that is what you are. If six other people can actually commit to being there at one o'clock and then you're gonna randomly rock up at half past one, two o'clock, you're selfish. Why? <laughs> you're selfish. And I know I've got very good friends who do this. Very good friends. They're gonna be like, wow, wow, I feel attacked. You are attacked. That's exactly what I am doing. I am attacking you. I am attacking you because that is what you do. That is what you do. Le selfish. Maybe just come out and say I'm sorry for being selfish and wasting your time by not being punctual. Because now things can't get started because I'm not here. Now we are, you guys are just spending money, 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 having drinks on drinks on drinks because you don't want to order because I haven't arrived. Say you are sorry for being selfish. Funerals, weddings, funerals, weddings, I feel are ridiculously expensive. In fact, at times unnecessarily expensive and are just used as platforms in which people can flex, flex their muscle, flex the fact that I have a money, flex the fact that I'm going to look better than this girl and I don't like her. So I'm going to rock up there looking great. Black people, we do this a lot. We actually go and look for a new outfit for funerals. Why? Ah, I'm just tired. Why are you going to go look for an, a new outfit for Lifu? Why are we spending so much money for Lifu? That money should have been spent when that person was alive. I understand that you want to bury someone with honor and dignity, but at the prices that they're going for, the amount of money that people want to just celebrate the love that they have for each other at a wedding, the amount of money that has come from that. How about put it away for your kid's college fund and do something nice and small and cute? Mm? They are just ridiculously expensive and unnecessarily so. I said what I said. Come for me. It's okay. I don't understand spending anywhere between 500,000 and a million for a wedding. Where? Why? Okay. All right. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. If your partner constantly turns you down for sex, Yet they claim that they are still monogamous to you, that they're not cheating on you. What they are doing, the frustration that comes from you in that time, is not frustration because of lack of sex. It's frustration because you feel like your body has, your partner has taken control of your body and its autonomy. Think about it. I slung, Yelis. Let's, you must think about it. Eh? You must think about it. It's not you're frustrated because you have lack of sex. No, no, no. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I would have been so tired. I'm really tired. You're frustrated because you feel unknowingly your body is showing you that your partner has control of your body in that time because they are denying you the sex. They have control of your body and its autonomy. That's why it leads people to having sex with others in an attempt to get control back of their bodies. Every reason for you to leave the relationship should that be the case. But that, it is what's happening. And the reality is, a lot of the time, maybe they are cheating on you. They claim like they're not, but come on. Manjung Michelle and sex. Think about it. It's Lungelis.
don't be mad at me don't be mad at me i love you guys and i will love you until kingdom come but influencers and celebrities are not your friends They're really just not. They're not your friends. And I feel like that comes out quite a lot in how people respond and comment to pictures, to reels, to videos, and whatever and whatever. I feel like you should do this. I feel like whatever, whatever. Because you have taken influencers on as your friends. And you get upset when an influencer doesn't post. And you get upset when an influencer is not in the best mood and you meet them when they're out and about. That mood has that mood shift has nothing to do with you, but you get upset. And then you talk about how mean she was and whatever. But influencers are not your friends, guys. And I don't mean it in a bad way. I'm going to try and hope and pray that you guys are going to be mature about what I've just said. We love having you guys around. We love... Excuse me, the fact that you guys support us and you support us and what we do, whatever. But... I'm sorry, but don't be mad at me, but I'm sorry. When your boss says, you know, I'm loving what you're doing recently. I'm loving your work ethic. I'm loving the amount of work you're pushing. And really at this point, you're in line. You're in line to be partner. Um, I see a promotion coming and whatever. Your boss is gaslighting you. Your boss is gaslighting you. When they continue to say that over and over and over and over again, your boss is gaslighting you. I need to be out of this house in five minutes. Your boss is gaslighting you. And saying those things in the hope that you're going to get excited and be like, oh my God, I'm on the road to promotion, baby. Meanwhile, that promotion is not going to come. A lot of the time, they're just gaslighting you into staying. They're just gaslighting you into feeling that, oh, you're doing something. Oh my God, and they're gaslighting you. Nope. Um, let's be honest about sometimes how we say, Horia, you know, that girl, that person is a narcissist, hey? They're a bit of a, yeah, they're a bit of a narcissist, you know, and, and they're showing different sides of their misogyny and their chauvinism through this narcissism, like it's creeping out. Sometimes that person is not a narcissist, they're just a prick. <laughs> Sometimes that person is a douche. Sometimes that person is just a D-I-C-K. Sometimes that person J is just a horrible person. They're not a narcissist, no. The why, what, how, oh. I say leave them for God. Sometimes you must just explain away the fact that your ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-best friend, ex-them people, ex-whatever, whatever, is just a douche and not necessarily that they're a narcissist it's an unpopular opinion because we love to use the term narcissist so loosely these days that yeah he's such a narcissist the way she acted she's such a narcissist is she i'm gonna finish this off because it's mental health awareness month i'm gonna finish it off with this one words like anxiety depression are used around way too loosely in today's society they're used around way too loosely to such a point whereby people use them as adjectives oh, i'm so tired yeah i would i'm so tired i'm really tired oh i'm feeling so depressed today oh i'm whatever you're not depressed you're sad you're not your anxiety hasn't peaked you're nervous that's all it is you're just having a bad day you're not depressed you're just not eating very well today. You're eating less today. You're not bulimic. You don't, you're not having a bulimic day. People use mental health illness terms as adjectives now. It's giving go home and read something. Go home and read something. Yeah. That's what it's giving.
Okay. I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this relatively short and popular opinions video. And if you did, definitely do like the video. Also subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you know each and every single time I upload, honey. And also like the video, please. It does so much for me. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to go that one up for the extra bonus content that is coming, that is always in the membership space every second week, definitely do join the space with JK join the space with us there's quite a number of us in that space and I love it for us I love it for us thank you so much for constantly supporting the channel I love you guys very much have a great day or great evening wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video